Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusa Crafts. Welcome to our channel. So this evening you have Barry uh, creating two cards featuring the Latte Love. Is it? Is that what it's called? Because I can't see. Yes, it everything. is. Okay. <laughs> Latte Love. Uh, so if you are watching the replay, do fast forward to the demonstration if you prefer. I suppose say hello to those of you who have joined us live. Thank you so much. So we have uh, Nancy Amato, Be More Stamper, Hello Marty, uh, Seal, Haya, Bianca, Good Evening to You, Cheryl Pandos, Mary and Lou. I would also say Jaylene is up the top there as well, uh, she's hidden by that first comment. I see, hi Jaylene. <laughs> we also have Mary Lou, Linda, Keisha, Hello Susan, Gian, Created Stamping. Creative Stampin' Antoinette. Hiya. Hi, Antoinette. Uh, we also have Karen, Debs, hello to you, Jackie, Charlotte, uh, Patricia, it moved, <coughs> Bling Bling Crafter Pat, uh, Maureen, uh, Danette, Anna, hello, hello, and Alice, hello, Alice, happy Sunday. Um, Mary Sickler, uh, Marie Wayman, I think it's Marie. We uh, always forget, sorry. <laughs> um, Sandra, Susan, warmly, hello everyone and welcome. Uh, so yes, we will do the random draw for this card. Uh, two weeks ago that I created, wasn't it? Yes, it was two Sundays because ago. Because last Sunday we were, it was Easter Sunday, and so we're just battling oh. off cats tonight. Um, and um, yes, so we are back. So you don't normally get to see this one. This is Minnie. Um, she is. Up. She normally sits down there. So yeah. So let's do the draw. So if you left us a comment for this one right here, then just break me. There we go. I'll just cover it's, that little it's dent glued down, so. properly. Um, if you'd like to win this one, and you left us a comment on the live on the after the video after the live, then we will be picking a winner for you now. If you want to go back and see how that was made, the link is at the top of this uh, of the live chat, so you can go back and go and have a little look at that as well. So let's go over to that screen right there. No, you don't want that one. You want that one right there, don't you? And um, let's see. Fourteen. <laughs> I have to count on my fingers. And we've got a wheel this time. So Ooh. we've got 21 of you. And the winner is going to be... Dun, dun, dun. Who do we have? <laughs> hey. Lisa. Congratulations. You're on a winning streak, Lisa. I'll write Definitely it are. So um, that card will be coming to you eventually as well at some point. So congratulations, Lisa. Lisa Bates, we better say off your full name. So um, there we go. Congratulations to you. Did you do a wheel? Because I've been doing the colour wheel uh, all day uh, long. Uh, yes, maybe <laughs> I had wheel in my head. <laughs> yes. So Jay has been working on that lovely colour wheel. So the one which... It's nearly done. It's nearly done. So watch this space. And hopefully it will be up for sale at so, some point. I've just been working on it three days. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be about £100 each. <laughs> 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 So, um, so, yes, so, well done, Lisa. That card is going to be coming over to you. So, there we have it. Let's pop that to one side. And, yes, to, as Jay mentioned, we are going to be working with the Latte Love this evening and the Latte Designer Series Papers. So, that's, that's, I think it's called a Little Latte. It's a Designer Series Paper. What is it? Yeah, a little latte designer series paper. Now these are online exclusives, so they can't be found in catalogs. So do check out the online exclusives online, obviously. Um, <laughs> on our online shop. On our, via our online shop. Let's pop the link up on the screen right now. Details are on the screen right now. Matusicrafts.com forward slash shop. And then click on the tab for online exclusives. And you can see this set as well as all of the other online exclusives. So they are basically they're just they're stuff which you can't be found in the catalogue. And they are a while supplies last as well. So this is um, that one paired with this lovely paper right here. So I'm going to be using this one for tonight for one of my cards. And we've got this one right here. I will probably be using 
some of these as well. And we've got those. I used this one. I, w I wasn't expecting to use this one, actually, but I used this one on my Funfold Friday the other day, and it worked out really, really well, that Calypso Coral one. You've got this one right here with your splats on the back. You've got your beans right there. We've got more coffee cups and your coffee jugs. We've got more coffee tops and coffee stains. And we've got your heart. So we've got that one and we've got that one which you've seen. And yes, there we have it. So that's those papers right there. So let's just pop these to one side because I don't need, I think I just pulled out everything which I need. So let's just pop those over some scraps so what card should i do first i think i would do the case so i'm going to case um the lovely emma goddard actually so we went to a recent event of emma's and we did some swaps and the card which i'm going to be doing it was the swap which she gave us so i figured i would just show you all this lovely card and how easy this is and it's going to be using mainly the designer series paper so I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to take my basic white thick right here and we will cut this down to our normal size which is the 14 by 21 scored in half at 10 and a half centimeters so just make your standard card base what you would normally do for this and then cut your mat and layers accordingly okay so that's that I will fold and I will burnish. And then that's that one right there. Oh, I'm going to have to get some gold out. I didn't see the gold that she'd used. So, I've got to find out. I just need to find some gold. So just bear with me one moment whilst I grab out some gold stuff. Yes, you are gold um so brush metallic um cardstock right here jay hasn't put it into the retiring thing yet so i'm assuming this is still no. is it not current is it but it's gold so. <laughs> is it not available is it yeah, okay. gold foil okay gold foil what i'm using isn't available but it's gold is gold kind of really it, there is obviously some different variations of it but i'm sure you have all got some kind of gold lying around in your stash. So I wouldn't worry about being too, being too specific on that particular one. So, but we just keep it because it's something which you always go to. It's something which you don't use much of. You're just going to use it as kind of layers, really. So I'm going to take this paper right here. And I am going to... To see if I've got any scraps, no. And I'm actually going to be using this side right here for this one. I need to grab myself some basic white for my layers. So we're going to have a few layers on this one here. So I'm going to go. I'm trying to put it there. So let's take this down to ten. And I'm going to take that down to nine and a half. By 13 so I like to go one centimeter smaller for my layers and then I'm gonna pop another layer around the top of that I may even go a little bit smaller we will see and I'm just gonna grab in my neutrals and I'm gonna bring in early espresso not a color I normally go for but it works obviously it naturally it works very well with this with this set So i done my layer at nine and a half, so I'm going to take my next part three millimetres, which is one eighth of an inch bigger. And that's just going to give me a tiny accent. just around the outside so it's just enough that it's just going to be able to pop off of that page but not enough that it's overpowering a 
and distracting, okay? So that's that one. So now I know I've got this down to what size that this is, which just let me remind myself again, which was nine and a half, wasn't it? I can now cut myself a piece of this paper here, nine and a half as well. So whilst I'm doing this, I'm just gonna actually, because I am gonna be using this side of the paper for my second card. So I'm just gonna cut that down as well to start off with, because it will, might be a little bit easier to um to do that so four just bear with me one moment four six and a half so i need to take that to uh, let me just do it this way here i reckon So we've had Bex, uh, Donna, Vic, Cheryl, Pauline, Kay, and Joanna. Excellent. So that's that's for my second card, which I've already cut down to size there ready. So because I want, I'm going to be using both sides. So I, it was just easier to do it this way. And I'm going to cut this one to, I think, to t let's go to two and a half. I probably will go slightly smaller but we will, two and a half inches, sorry. Um, where did I just pop my piece? Two and a half by nine and a half centimeters. Losing the thing. Where do I put my gold now? There's my gold. In front of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that there I think is a little bit too big for what I need it for. I need to just do just need to trim that down. So I'm gonna take that to two inches. And we will then take this to Nine and a half again, so and then I'm just gonna kinda like just cut off some strips here. I'm not gonna I'm just gonna one and a half by one and a half. I'm gonna just basically gonna top and bottom this. So you just need something that you can stick your glue to when doing this. Because what we want to do is we want to have these gold pieces are going to go top and bottom like this. Okay, so that's going to go on like that and that's going to go on like so. Alright, so we just need to add a little bit of glue. Now, the problem with um, the gold is it's, it's, kind of, it's non-porous. So we will just add some some of the stamp and seal. I'll, I'll just grab my stamp and seal plus on this particular time, just to do this to give me an instant um, instant stick, and then I'm just going to pop that down. Obviously, the only problem is that you do not have any wiggle room, so you need to be confident, and you just need to stick it. So it's just going to carefully get that to the position I want on one side and then stick that down. There we go. So I've got myself here a gold top and bottom. Almost kind of reminds me, I think the gold works for it quite well because if you open up your coffee jars, you've always got that gold, um, that gold rim on the top. So I think that works quite well, goes well with coffee, the gold. Because that's going to go on like so, like that. Um, and I just want to have a little look at how 
We've had Jasa Dasa Craft with Janice. Hi, Janice. Lighthouse Stamping with Lorraine. Hello, Lorraine. Pace Crafts, Carol Ann and Kim Phoebe. Excellent. Good evening to you all. So that's going to go on like that. I'm just going to decide what part of this is going to go on to dimensionals. Obviously, this is going to go as post. I hope something said, well, I'll, I'll put things on double dimension. But I need to post it, so that doesn't quite work. So we will go flat down. On this one. And we will then stick this round. Like that. So I will be doing some stamping on this. Um, I'm going to be brave and I will do it whilst it's all stuck. <laughs> because it's going to be the sentiment. And the sentiment basically is going to be underneath this. So once I know I've got that in position... That will be fine. So I just need to have a little look at some twine, but I don't actually know where any of the twine is. I'm always what hiding. What twine are you after? If it's for uh, it's because I, I, I linen thread. It's all in a Jay's, Jay's hidden it again. <laughs> I've been separating, retiring, and non-retiring. So, so that's all retiring, and that's all non-retiring. Is it not up there? Can you find me Lynn and Fred, please, Jay? <laughs> so we will stick this on with some dimensionals. Jay can't find Lynn and Fred. That's, that's, um. Unless oh, it's up the top here. <clears throat> and I just can't see it. So that there will go on. Like so. You found it? Yeah, that's carrying over. That's retiring. Okay. And then all of that's retiring. So you stay. <laughs> all of this up here is retiring, is it? Wow, well, we've got a lot of ribbon that is retiring. That's why, just because I don't use it. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we are going to maybe just right, I'm just going to try something. I don't. I have a very love hate relationship with um with ribbon and twine and stuff. So let's see whether I can. If I pin it down, it might work for me. I normally glue the end. Yes, exactly what I've just done. <laughs> Ten seconds delay. Yes. <laughs> Jay just said, you know what I do, you probably heard him. I normally just glue it to the end. So like, that's exactly what I've just done. I think like Jay. Wow. <laughs> what else? Um... So we've had uh, Betty H um, is on, and uh, so belated happy birthday to Betty H. At, I believe it was yesterday. Uh, Susan Hannum, uh, who's been enjoying our visited uh, retreats and conferences. Excellent. Um, and in answer to your question, Kenzie, um, no, I will not be using the dies for a simple reason: is that we didn't buy them. <laughs> um, we 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 figured the dies weren't. Weren't our cup of tea? Um, Coffee. Oh, for a, okay. Weren't our cup of tea? Well, wasn't wasn't we? We probably wouldn't have used all of the dies which were in there, and what um, what images are on a stamp set are easy enough to cut out with with the snips. So no, we have. I will not. I will, can't, won't be using the dies because I didn't buy them. So. Yes, Pauline, linen is staying. Jay is very happy that Linen Fred is staying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one. 
which is why he's hidden it from me. <laughs> just in ca- just in just in case it was going to be retire, and he probably hid it. So let's say, don't use that. I thought we had two. We only got one. We might need to get some more. Wait, where am I? So just a quick bow there. I may add that in. I may not. So we were just. do that anyway so there we have it so that there is that part of the card so you can see it's starting to come along now so I'm just going to go ahead and I will stick these down now so we will be live on zoom tonight um, after this I have already posted a link Jay um, it's, it should be one of the very first comments at the top, so if you would, so you can replace the pinned message if you want. I think you finished checking the link, right? Uh, there we go, I pinned it. So that there is going on like that. Even though that linen thread's probably going to get covered up in a moment, but so that's fine. And with the sentiment which I'm going to use, I'm going to take the... I do love the sentiments on this one here. Hello there, let's catch up. Thanks so much. This one's on me and you're the best part of my day. I think there's some really nice little sentiments. And I like this, hello, let's catch, um, let's catch up, which is really quite a nice one. Those of you that saw what my Funfold Friday um, just gone, um, I used the same sets and I used this sentiment as well. So let's just pop that down, the bottom down there like that. And that's why I didn't stamp first, because I needed to know where I was going to be popping it. Down there like that. So what I'm going to do with these ones is... I'm going to cut this out here, so it's easy enough for me to cut this out. And then I will then cut another one. Um, now, there, there, as um, Kenzie highlighted there, there is some dyes which coordinate with this set. So if you don't like fussy cutting, then you can you can get the coordinating dies, which will do this for you as well. Um, so that's just something to think about. Um, Jay wouldn't let me have them. Well, you didn't let me order enough to get rewards. <laughs> <laughs> did you, I don't know, did you hear that in the background? I didn't let him order enough to get stamping rewards so we couldn't add them on. So, um, so look, he's making me cut. He said, we don't need them. We can cut them out. Poor me. It's uh, Jaylene's anniversary. So happy anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary. Uh, wedding anniversary or stamp anniversary? Uh, wedding. Uh, and, and Chris is here. Who? Sorry, Krista, did yeah. you say? Hi, Krista. So that's that there. And let's go with a blue one. So. I'm just going to try. I want to see. No, I... and it's it's quite easy to cut out anyway so it's not a um it's not a major issue not having the dies but the dies are lovely but they're they're more about ones which you can you can build up other stuff so you kind of get it looks like you get your cafetiers in there so that it's those type of dies which were in it and it's we we, we kind of decide we probably wouldn't use them so it's way it was better off spending the money on something else which we would use Rather than going for the dice, do look nice. Though. They they are lovely dies. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's just, but it's just something which we probably wouldn't have used. We like the paper, um, and yeah. So do check them out though. Go have to head out and look at the online exclusives and go and check them out if you want to have a little look at what they 
what they are going to be like. So that's that. And they are going to go on like so. So what I need to do first is I now need to stick this onto... See, that looks quite nice on its own. It's just as a simple kind of like coffee card with that. So you could just leave it as is. But we are going to add the... We're going to add the coffee cups in there. I've noticed I do the same gluing technique every single time. I think I remember a long sorry. Yeah, it's almost like my glue signature, and I think I remember somebody saying that years ago. Or so you have a glue signature. Does anyone else do that? Does anyone else glue? Does anyone else glue exactly the same way? Just check that I stuck it on the correct way around. See, I quite like that as it is. I think that's quite a pretty card. I will, if you add some embellishments on that as well, that looks quite pretty. So we are going to stick this down and stick that down. It's kind of going to go around like that. So I have double deed this now. Oh, hey ho. If it costs more to post, it costs more to post. So we're going to just see and now obviously I'm just playing around because of the positioning of this. So I'm just actually just gonna go around and that's gonna go there and I just need to add so I just do want to remove that if I can. So Mary asks, do you know how long online exclusives are available and how often they are new ones? Um, as far as we know, Mary, they are while supplies last and they add them quite frequently at the moment. Um, I think it's every quarter. Every quarter um, they add something. Um, we do have a schedule for online exclusives. Um, I was looking at it last You night. did have, Jay had it up yesterday. Or uh, this morning, but it's on the big computer. I don't know if I can get it up here. Do you mind? You can try it if it's a file already. Uh, I think it's on the desktop. Because I screenshotted it. So I'm just doing this like that. And you can see I put two dimensionals on the bottom of this one here. And then one on the paper. So then that, that leveled out quite nicely. And then I'm going to then stick another one. Three so, times a year. Okay, so three times a year, Mary, is the um, strategy which Stampin' Up! have for the online exclusives. March, July, and November. And so, yeah. So demonstrators can pre-order the month before. Yeah. So, um, did you hear that? That's good. So, yeah, so there will be another one in July, but we will get to see it and be able to pre order it in June, which probably means we'll get to see it next month. <laughs> so, we can make better, we will see it in July. So, that one's going to go on like that. So, I just changed my cups over because the heart on, the, on this one was just. Um, the wrong, the wrong way around. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one, I'm going to grab the glue dots, and I'm just going to peel this off. Let's take your pick tool. Oh. We have Shari T, who's just subscribed. Thank you so much. Hi, Shari. And we've got Janelle as well. I don't know why I used to end. It was there and I should have just turned it around. So that's the end I prefer to use. And then we will then stick that. That ribbon has kind of then just gone in there. I probably didn't need to wrap it all the way around, but you can still see it. It's all there. So that's that one. Let's see if I can find some embellishments, which have all moved again. So, so these are all retired. Yeah. These are all retiring, are they? Okay. Those are 
those ones are appearing over. Right. Jay's yeah, Jay's moved everything, and I and I haven't I haven't <laughs> I haven't learned where they all are yet. So um, so these are all stuff which is retiring. Oh, look at that. He's been very productive. He's put an R on it as well. So what one should I use? Cork rounds work quite well, but I think we will take the... Something as fresh as a daisy, because we've got these nice brown ones right here, which is probably pecan pie, maybe, or copper clay... I'm not sure what the colours they are for those ones, but let's take some of these off. Your mum does the same as you with the Oh, what? And her, her squiggle is much the same as yours. Is it? Have you got the same squiggle as me, mum? Yeah, or have I got the same squiggle as you? Um, Charlotte's um, vary sometimes. Me and Mum have the same signature. I probably told the story before. <laughs> coming very, coming very handy at school, trying to get out of PE lessons. <laughs> <coughs> so there we have it. That there is my first card, which is a case from the lovely Emma Goddard. So I'll bring you in her card, which I did, which was this one. So it was just a card top which she gave us. So you can see I've just um I've I've used the same I've used the same kind of it's it's yeah it's the same layout but I've 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 made mine just a little bit smaller so it just fits into the card there rather than doing a full um early espresso. Okay, so that there was my take on the lovely Emma Goddard card right there, which we received as a lovely swap. So that's that one. So someone will be winning this card. So if you'd like to win it and just leave us a comment in the live chat and we will be picking a winner for that at the end. Um, but I'm just going to get myself ready for the second card. And um, yes, let me just clear up a few things. Whilst I just move over to the second card. Oh, better not chuck that. <laughs> With a bit of gold. Yeah, it's like gold does. Okay, so for the second card right here, where's the bingo? So for the second card, I'm going to be using. As we mentioned, got this one right here. So this paper right here is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be doing a um, square card on this one. So I'm just going to take, let me just see whether or not I can use this. So I'm going to take this to probably, let's take it to a 5x5 five five to start off with. So I would take this to 10, I'm going to take it to 5 first. So 5 inches by 10 inches. I do like a square card every now and then. Um, it works out quite nice. And then I will then score this at five inches. And that there is my card base. Um, 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 where's my bone folder going there? Okay, so that's that one there. And then that's going to go on like so. But we will also have some early espresso again on this, I reckon, just to make this pop off of the pop off of the page a little bit. Now I don't think I've got any scrap for this one, so I'm going to have to cut into a full piece. Are you sure that's a full one? I think that's my 
this is a. So do you want me to save this yes, one? Yes, please, because I'll be doing the. Um, okay, maybe you should separate all of those ones out. <laughs> <It's so cold. laughs> the frame. Well, where am I going to put it? In the color swatch folder. So I, I need another one with all the different colors. So we will go to. It's four inches is that one, so I'm going to take this to one eighth of an inch bigger. I'm going to go with a quarter of an inch bigger on this one. Let's just see first. It's easier to go bigger than it is to go. I can remove, but I can't add. So we'll see whether or not that works in a moment if I want to go make that a little bit smaller like I did with the first card. Um, so what I'm going to do with this one is I am going to grab myself some Lost Lagoon. So what is Lost Lagoon? Lost Lagoon is a subtle. It is. So we keep all of our cardstock in these um, little files here and then put all of the small off cuts and the big pieces all go into that and they're all labeled as in subtles and so on along the edge so we can just grab it and we've got easy access to all of the colors that's how we fired all of our cardstock and then we keep all of the full packets down below and then we just grab it out there and then the off cuts go and go back into that so we always kind of like rotate try and rotate the stock round so this is going to go to half an inch like so and the size of that in a moment will be dependent on how far i want it to come out so we will work out so i've used lots of goon because the colors which are in this is Lemon Lolly, um, we have got Calypso Coral, we've got Lost Lagoon, we've got Early Espresso, and then the other colours, which I can't remember off the top of my head at the moment. And probably a Petal Pink in there. Bubble Bath, maybe. So that's that. Um, let's grab myself some cardstock. I know that was a thick. So I'm going to just stamp the... Thing. So I'm going to repeat a technique which I did on Funfold Friday, um, just gone. Because um, I want two of these. So if you miss Funfold Friday, then obviously do go back and have a little look at that. Um, just go and check out what I did for Funfold Friday. But this is one of the techniques which I did for it as well. And it was very, very good. So if you want to have a reverse of something, you just basically want to ink up your stamp with your memento. You want to then stamp this down onto your silicon sheets. You then want to then grab your paper and you then just want to then push this onto that rub your finger along the top or if you've got something like a brayer um, which we sell as well you can then run that run that along the top just to really push that down and then what you've got is you will then have two cups using going both ways using one stamp so that's how you get a reverse you can also use this technique as te people do it for um doing reflections in water and things like that as well so it's it's a quite a good technique to to have so grab one of those if you haven't got a silicon craft sheet i would highly recommend you grab one um for sure techniques with silicon craft sheet. yeah that's all i can think of for techniques of silicon craft sheet so I'm just going to have a quick colour on this. What colour is that? This is Calypso Coral. Calypso. 
So if you want to just come in and say anything, Jay, then you can do. Uh, yes, as Barry's doing the blends. <laughs> okay, I, yeah. I am um, updating the blends chart. Uh, with the 2024 to 2026 uh, in colors as well as the labels um, which is these That's fine. Uh, so yeah so every single blends color um, is there and also the blends chart this one the, the blends chart is actually three pages so this one is in rainbow order there's another sheet that's blank so you can just fill it in and there's another one with the color families in different rows so there these blank pdfs are on the website um i think i think two of them are and also oh no these these ones are coming soon <laughs> i haven't added them on but i have uh, done the in color bookmarks that's up as well as the color swatch or color card swatch um, or shall I say blank card swatch <laughs> because you add yourselves uh, add yourself um, the card strips which Vic has done because I did it in French and German as well and thank you to those um, French and German um, customers who look at the blog I have added um, a Google Translator uh, drop down in the footer and that's the right side <laughs> elephants would poof uh, so hopefully you can easily um, understand what I'm chatting about on the website <laughs> you're mean so we're just laughing obviously for people who don't know Jay doesn't pronounce his P's and F's very well <laughs> Oh yes, I forgot. The cards, the swatch is uh, letter size as well. Okay, yeah, I, Jay's walked away, so you may not have heard that. The swatch is letter size, so for um, for obviously everyone else that doesn't use the standard um, UK size A4, there's a letter size. There is a letter size option as well. So my head's just going to sneak in a little bit. I'm just going to pop the coffee on the top of my cup. So for this one, I have used um, pecan pie. So I think Gian, you mentioned it on our video the other day, actually. Um, you use pecan pie so you can have a coffee with cream in it. And then I'm going to go with a black coffee and I'm going to use early espresso. And then we will have this one here. So I probably will be handing these to Jay in a moment to fussy cut out for me. Once I've coloured them. Shall I go with a different colour, Jay? Or do you reckon the yellow works quite well on that particular one? What other colour do you reckon the cup of coffee cup would work on that one there? No, I think that's fine. Does that work all right? Yeah, it looks amazing. You, you should have a look at the... Um, what's that? Calypso coral? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What other colour works well with Calypso Coral? Shall I have a little look at the colour wheel? You can do a complementary colour. So. So I'm just going a quick colour on these here. the first one so I could probably give that one to Jay to start cutting out so if I just do that thank you so, you can, you can so we've got the color wheel, wheel, wheel here which is Jay is in the process of designing as well because stamping up aren't selling it um, so we have got complementary colors which I need to go over that one there so complementary colors of the Calypso coral is gonna be the Blue here, Barbie blue, azure, azure afternoon or pool party. Probably might go a pool party actually quite might, might work quite nice. Or I suppose I can probably go like that and that kind of still yes. works as well, doesn't it? So over here. So I would say the edge of that would be the edge of that. Edge of that one there, yeah. yeah. That's what I was um 
So yeah, I or was. You can do um, monocrop monochromatic, which is basically calypso coral pe petal pink flirty flamingo. No. I was thinking of going with I was thinking of going with a pool party actually. Hmm. Um, so I'm going to go with the comp. So I'm going to go with we've got calypso coral is here. So lost the goon, so I'm a coastal cabana. I was thinking of going with the green. I was thinking of doing the same colour as this one here, but I might go with. Let's go, go with, lighter. Yeah, pool party. Let's go with pool party. I'm looking over here. Where is it? Pool party. Let's go with that one. Got some questions there, Jay. Uh, Linda says you tease Jay about his pronunciations, but we all talk like him now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Linda. Barry always laughs at me because it's funny, but the thing is, like, you laugh at yourself. Well, I have to laugh, otherwise, I'll cry. <laughs> oh, I think this might be running out, or is it just really light? I think it's just why don't you use the um, brush tip let's run out as well oh, okay there must be another one that's some way no I can't don't you see the way okay. <laughs> okay, this is going to get me a nice new blend thank you very much just double check that it's pool party pool party lights yes That's better. I have to get the most of like <laughs> the ink out before it completely runs out. So I'm just colouring this exactly the same way as what I did the first one. Hi, Ilona. Is there something else happening with blends as well this month, Jay? Have you got some kind of promotion going on? Oh, yes. Um, it's for UK. So if you... Well, UK... Um, UK customer, yes. And Europe, no? And Europe, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, so... <laughs> So UK, France, Germany, Netherlands, Austria and Belgium is open to all of you, not just the UK. So I'm sort of like querying it. So it's just the UK. Because I'm doing promotion this, this month. I'm so confused. <laughs> there you go. So, so um, obviously Jay knows more about the promotion, but I think it's worth you spend how much, Jay? I am just Okay, Jay's just going to get all the details sure of the promotion up. <laughs> He's got so much going. No, there we go. And that's what the inside of a blend looks like. <laughs> so if you twist instead of pull. There we go. Should be open. So don't panic if it pops off. But what Jay said, I pulled it off. So if you find that, I've kind of just twisted and, and it's still done it. You're just too strong. And I've put a bit of pressure there if that happens. So it's not it's it's not it's not a problem. Um, it still works, but I've just pulled it a little bit. Yeah, I've just put it, pulled it a little bit too much. Yes. So the stamping blends it is uh, two months, two months free coloring masterclass membership when you buy six stamping blends combo pack. Uh, of course, we we can only offer that to. Uh, UK and Europe because that's our shopping um, online shop <laughs> shopping online shop. yes so um, so that's good so would you do the girlness for me Jay and cut that one out as well yes thank you so much I've, I've got another one I might want to so Jay's just going to go ahead and cut those out. So yes, yeah, so if you um, so if you just if you are interested in getting some of our colouring membership for free, then just buy some blends from us, and Jay will give you two months free of charge. 
with that one come in and have a little look. So we're going to do this. That coffee cup is going to go on like that. And the other one is going to go around as well. And what we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to use the same um, sentiment as what I did for the first one. And we are going to pop that. And it works quite nicely with this paper as well. So I just know I just need to have a little think about where I'm going to do it because I kind of want it to sit between those lines. So sit, sit between those calypso coral lines is where I want it to go. We don't do double labels. Um I can see. Uh, Nutty Hayes Crafts, um, because we we use just a strip. Uh, what's it called? A brother, is it a brother? Yes. Our label maker. Yes, yeah, so we just put a label maker around us. We make the labels up. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just going to stamp the hello there. Let's catch up sentiments on the paper. And I'm using the straight lines, obviously, on that paper to help me line that one up. And it fits perfectly between those two Calypso coral layers. I think I will keep it the same. I'm going to keep my border the same. I'm going to go with a chunkier border than what I would normally do. But because I've got a larger white edge. Um, thank you so much, Joe. <laughs> I'm joking. And then we will then stick that on like so. Let's just pop my lid on that before I drop everything in it. And then we can then stick that on like so. Just and just make sure that your cards the correct way around and stick that in the middle. Like that. There we have it. So we were, again, uh, that's quite a simple card as it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick those two coffee cups. They're going to go on like so. Um, but what we are going to do, well, actually one thing I want to do, I'll just keep adding time to this video. I'm so sorry. I keep coming up so I say I want to do something else. So I'm going to grab, do we have a... Um, self-healing mat i know we do somewhere but i don't know yes, where it is it should be by the um, pattern it's at the top there isn't it i was going to use the glass mat but if the self-healing mat is better because what i'm going to do is one of the tools you can get for your take your pick is this lovely scalpel and and the, the blade so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go round. and carefully cut out these center parts. Are you leaving a white edge? I was trying to leave a white edge, but I don't think I have. No, I haven't. That's fine. I was just asking. I, wa I wanted to leave a white edge, but I started off too close. I feel like the... the what's it called? Crafter steps. Crafter steps. Okay, so I've just taken that out right there. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Let's try and leave a white edge on this one. There we 
don't have it. Okay, so that's just your tips which you can add to your um, to your take your pick tool as well. And that's just going to cut those out because then we can then see the lovely pattern paper between it. There you go, Tommy. Like so. So we will add this piece, just that little part underneath, just to kind of break this up. So we are going to just use my trimmer. going to pop a little bit of a finger mark just roughly where I want it to cut and then grab my trimmer to then give myself a straight line I could have done it with scissors but then you run the risk of having a wonky edge potentially so that's going to go on like that and then that's going to go on like that <coughs> oh, excuse me and I think I'm going to do it like this this time, um, like that. Because my first card I've made, or my prototype, I've made smaller. Um, so I had to kind of bunch these up a little bit. Because I use some offcuts. So we're going to go in like that, using the lines on the paper, which is very handy for making sure everything is nice and straight on this. And then that is going to go on like that. We will use, obviously, dimensionals on this. So that's just going to go on. Like so, and we can kind of have it overlapping that edge border a little bit there as well. That one there, actually, I do just want to see if I can. Carefully remove so you can remove them. And I just want to go higher on that one. So I can go a little bit lower on that particular one there. So I'm going to pop some dimensionals. are going to go along this side of my cup here. Because that's the part which isn't going to be interfering with the other coffee cup. Like that, and we can then just to attach on a little bit of the, it's going to have a bit of an overhang here. So a little bit of glue on that cup, which will then just help stick that part down. And then we can then do that. And that. Down there like that. I've got a little bit of the pool party, which is behind, so, um, the behind, sorry, the Lost Goon, which is behind us to kind of break that up a little bit. And um, let's see if we can grab some embellishments, and then we are done for this. So let's use maybe, let's say the bracium. Let's use some of the cork rounds on this one here. Last call for the names. Last call for names. And Jay's very strict with that. So um, <laughs> if you want to be in with a chance of winning, then um, do pop your comments in now. Because we will be drawing a winner. Very, very soon. There we have it. So that there is my second card. And I'm really happy with how that one came out as well. A nice change of colour. I will show you my original. This was my prototype I did quickly before coming on tonight. I used some off cuts, so I made it. It was a lot smaller. This was a 4x4 four four card, and I kept it, kept it tiny. But that there is then what I'm just going to turn it into right there for you right now. So 
I hope you like that. So first card and second card. We'll be drawing a winner for this one here right now. Um, or in a second. And um, then we'll be drawing a winner for this one next Sunday. So if you'd like to win this card. Then just leave us another comment after the live has ended. Um, and um, so if you're watching now. If you want to be on a chance of winning. Just leave us another comment. If you're watching this after the live. Then just leave us a comment down below. And we will be picking a winner for this one next week. Um, so I'm just going to just just sort myself out a fraction because I've actually I'm actually quite messy tonight, which is very unusual. Yes, and unusual. Tommy is going to be jumping over here in a moment, I'm sure, and then he's going to then tread on paper and it's going to increase it, and then Jay won't be happy. <laughs> so yes, so that's that. That's it. We've had um, Sarah and Mary, Ilona, Christelle. Um, Debbie. Excellent. So, if you'd like, this was the card which I made. Uh, well, actually, I'll get Jay to talk it through because then, whilst he's talking through, I can then be sorting out a live draw. What, what, the what Fun Fold it? Friday. <laughs> <laughs> what Over there. Because I just need to get the names in for the draw. Amazing. Lovely everywhere. These just go everywhere. Oh, it's our Sarah who's on. Yes, <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Sarah. Kiss our, our Sarah. <laughs> you are our Sarah, Sarah. Yes. <laughs> Your art. <laughs> um, so, yes, amazing, lovely. Um, double dimensional, lovely, jobly. Well done. Uh, people are loving the color combination. Yes, as well. I did. I did it with the lemon lolly the first time round, mm. and which has worked well because I chose lemon yeah. lolly because it worked well with the paper. But I, I was thinking of going with the blue. I think the blue just works a yeah. little bit better. I'm not really there. a yellow person. No, I think it works. It works. Um, because but... obviously it works with the paper, but I, yeah. think that, I think those two work slightly better, actually. Okay. So this is Barry's um, Fun Fold Friday from last Friday, which was 5th of April. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Um, and it was a case from one of our uh, swap from on stage, wasn't it? It was from Verena. Yes, and it's uh, you turned it into a gift card. I did, holder. yes. I did just adapt it because I figured yeah. it would be perfect for just giving away, but you don't have to do that part. You can oh. just remove that, and Tom is just giving his seal of approval. Do you love it? I love it. There we go. So that's that one. Anything else? Can you show those two up, up there at all? Oh, uh, yes, I guess. <laughs> this one. I shared this last night. It was so late. Uh, in an Insta hop with the hop abroad uh, team, design team, and the, the theme was rainbows. So uh, I use Cinea because uh, we have our online coloring masterclass with the Cinea on the twenty third of April. So I thought, ah, oh, I'll just do that and the uh, creative challenge for. Stamp from Stamping Up this month is using Stamping Blends, so I just used Stamping Blends and uh, Cineas online exclusive and that um, embossing folder as well as online exclusive. So um, we won't be coloring in rainbow in the class, uh, but you'll learn how to color the Simply Cineas images from the class. So if you love to practice your coloring with Stamping Blends, uh, do check out the on the Coloring Masterclass um, membership or just the individual classes on our website. And our website link is on the screen right now for you. Yes. So let's pick a winner. So um, Pauline, I've seen your comment that you're going to have a little go at this yeah. later on. Um, or the, who's that on there? Yeah. That one? Or oh, Jay's, been, Jay's been kind. Shaz, we're at your, Jay's just said, oh, I haven't got your name in there and you are going into the wheel. <laughs> there we go. So um, let's pick a winner for yes. this one right now. And let's go over to that one. I have got everyone's names in here. So good luck, good everyone. Good luck, everyone. And the winner is... Who have we got? Crystal, Crystal G. G. Congratulations, Congratulations. Crystal. All you need to do is just email us. Um, details are on the screen right now. Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 7th of April 2024, in the subject line. And your full mailing address um, down below. 
and we will send the first card which I made to you tonight. So it doesn't matter where you live, um, Crystal. I think this is your new name as well. Yes. So all you need to do is you just need to just send us an email. So congratulations to you. Jay's just writing your name down right now. So let's get rid of that. I just have to keep that one going. Your name's on it. It's yours. You're just waiting for it to dry. Yeah, because I smashed it. Excellent. Um, so we will say goodnight. Um, do remember... I'm a little tired in between here. Um, do remember you can purchase your Stampin' Up! Crafting Gooders from us. So do head over to our link, which is on the screen right now. Matusucrafts.com forward slash shop. And you can order your Stampin' Up! Craft supplies from us via over there. And do check out the online exclusives. Remember, the set which I've been using tonight is an online exclusive, so it cannot be found in the catalogues. And there's a lot more online exclusives on there as well, like that Simply Zinnia um, is an online exclusive, which Jay just showed you. Um, yes, we have quite a few that we haven't used yet. So, yeah. so yes. So, good. So let's say goodnight. We are going to be going over to Zoom. So if you'd like to come and join us over on Zoom, it's open to all of you. Um, if you're interested and want to have a crafting one, have a chat with us and chat to the community, yes, then the link is um, linked is in the top of the live chat right now. So quickly copy and paste that because it will disappear once we stop the live. Um, but we're going to go over to Zoom. And if we don't see you on Zoom, we will see you again in a few days' time for our um, Wednesday. Yes. Live. Or if you're. Um Joining us on our Nature Sweetness online class. We'll see you there. See you on Tuesday. Yes. All right. Take care, everyone. See you all soon. Thank bye you. Bye bye for now. Bye.